Chapter 3. How to use the secret. Ask, believe and receive. The first step is what most of today's gurus would consider goal setting. Well, in order for the universe to give you what you ask, you need to know what you want. That is why we need to be clear about the subject of our desire. Believe. Whatever our mind can conceive and believe, we can achieve. And a belief is only a thought we continue on thinking. And once that our belief matches our desire, our desire will become a reality. Particularly important during this step is to avoid focusing on how. The how is something abstract that should simply remain in the hands of the universe. Much more important and powerful and useful is to strengthen our thinking by feeling the way we would feel as if the reality we would like to experience it were already. Receiving is all about feeling. I can understand how this three-step process and the whole thing behind it might actually look and sound weird. I was probably the most skeptical reader that has ever picked up this book. But it is true that any and all progress of humankind began as a thought. Chapter 4. Powerful processes. It doesn't get any more practical than this. Gratitude. Visualization and vision board. Gratitude. Let me point this out. There is normally a difference in perception between the word gratitude and appreciation. Most of the time, people tend to associate the word gratitude with something that they have overcome, while with appreciation, that is not the case. Thus, appreciation tend to have more pure vibrations. Which is why every time that I am grateful for something, I tend to express it as if I am appreciative for something. Every morning, as a practice, when I wake up, I create a list of the things that I am appreciative for. Now, this might be different for different people. Doesn't mean that it's better or worse, but this is just how I do it. As I read this book again to make this video, I realized about 11 years apart from my second time I read the book, and this time, a lot of the concepts that I read about years ago were way above my head. So this practice of writing my appreciation down every morning is something that I've been practicing for the past year. It is not a habit that I acquired after reading this book. Although it's one of the very first suggestions of this chapter. One of the ways to leverage on this habit is to begin being appreciative for what we already have. And then to trick our mind appreciating something that we would like to receive or an experience that we would like to enjoy as if we are already experiencing it. Visualization. Visualization Visualization is a great practice I heard about many times. I even read a book that was completely about visualization. Let me check. Creative visualization. So I read this book and I read other articles and watched videos about it. I understand how powerful it is, but I still suck at it. It did work wonders for me in the past when it came more naturally but maybe sometimes I just try too hard. As everything else, probably something that you get better and better with more and more practice. But when? If you are visualizing something, your body gets to experience it already as if it were the reality. The point is that if you've been there with the mind, you'll be there with your body. As Rhonda explains, visualization is not only powerful because of how effective it is in creating the reality we desire, but it's also extremely useful to us as an experience on its own. Because by visualizing what we desire, we are vibrating and living that experience already, as we are in the process of creating it. I hope this makes sense. A very crucial aspect about visualization is that it is not something that we can do with the desire, with the intent, with the necessity of obtaining something. We have to visualize to simply enjoy the process, simply because we like doing it. <laughs> to be, to do, and then to have. So I don't really understand why the authors of this book decided to arrange the next chapters as the secret to money, the secret to relationship, and the secret to health. Everybody needs everybody else! This video has been brought to you by us at Real Estate Helpful Solutions. We buy houses helping people. This is done.
Electrolytes. <laughs> Tre anni che sai. Vado. Because by visual. Be better with books. <laughs>